views which we've had uh, in this House over the last number of weeks, uh, which will culminate in uh, having uh, the Commissioner Morgan Morgan Quinn in next week, European week. I think that they will all add, I think, and help progress uh, the, the relationship between this House and indeed the European Parliament, which I think is of paramount importance. Uh, and I would hope that we will be in a position uh, to, gr to progress uh, these closer links between Europe and indeed uh, this House into the future. I'd like to thank you most sincerely for your enlightening address uh, and uh, I look forward to hearing from you in relation to the, some of the questions which are posed. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. Senator Sean Ballas. For Margaret, uh, uh, I thought we would go over and back a bit. No, yeah, no, she's no over. I'm over. Oh, so, oh sorry. Okay. I apologise. Sorry, Senator. No, sorry, sorry, Senator. Van Chonno. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, no, I actually. Yeah, it, it's. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, you're very welcome, MEP Sean Kelly. Um, there's many aspects of your work that I, I, I'd like to raise and, and, and to commend you on, uh, but maybe I just limit it to credit your work on your part in the delegation for relations uh, with the United States. And uh, Senator Cummins has mentioned about the EU US trade agreement, which is something I, I know a number of us are following in the House, but also your valuable contribution you, you're making as rapporteur on the Commission's proposals to reform the EU data protection rules and looking at how, as a continent, we can have a uniformity and one data protection law uh, for one continent. And I, I, I very much have, have read that with great interest. I was very heartened to hear you speak both today, but also earlier this year, on the issue of youth. Uh, on uh, youth unemployment and the youth guarantee. Uh, as you know, Ireland has the fourth highest uh, figure in the EU, it's a time when we don't want to be highest, of young people who are not in education, employment or training, uh, the needs figures, so to say. Um, and you very much have expressed the need to ta tackle the monumental uh, toll emigration is taking on young people today. And I do commend all that you've done to support the youth guarantee. So in light of this, I've been very heartened uh, to hear what your opinion is on the draft recommendations establishing the youth guarantee which were adopted by the council last week and do you feel that this will go far enough? With regard to your work on the Industry Research and Technology Committee and the Regional uh, Committee on Data Protection Europe, what role do you see the digital agenda playing in Ireland's recovery? Um, and I know you've touched on that in, in some way. But the main issue I'd like to raise is you raised the issue of data protection um, and, and you talked about the importance of balancing rights. And the issue I want to raise is a people protection or probably more a child protection issue and it's an issue that we've discussed in this house on child abuse material on the internet. Uh, there is an issue of considerable concern to myself but I know to several senators. Um, as a state we have an obligation to protect real children from real abuse in the real world and our independent group put down a motion uh, on the 29th of February last year calling on the government to block all child abuse material uh, irrespective of its jurisdiction of origin. You know currently we block material coming from within Ireland uh, but I believe it should be blocked irrespective of that jurisdiction. And the Minister uh, for Justice and Equality, Alan Shatter TD, uh, said that he'd consider that uh, in the future uh, planned sexual offences bill, uh, but there's no urgency around bringing this bill before us. So I'm now looking towards the EU to see what we can do, because there is blocking already in place in several EU member states. And I would also like to note uh, and acknowledge that the European Parliament's written declaration on highlighting the global dimension of the fight against online uh, child sexual abuse content, which I know you signed earlier this month, and, and thank you for signing that. But as noted in the declaration, the cross-border nature of most online child sexual abuse content, content shows that strong international co cooperation is necessary. So my co question for you is, what do you feel can be done to facilitate this cooperation both insofar as removing the content at source, but also in addressing the online distribution networks. Um, I believe we should be blocking. I know there's people who will talk about internet freedom, but each digital image is an image of a crime scene. Um, and I think, you know, we have policy where we, dr we block drugs coming into the country. It doesn't solve or, or sort out our drugs issue, but it is a deterrent. And same way, I believe we should be blocking all child abuse material uh, in Ireland, as happens in several EU member states. So I very much welcome uh, your opinions and, and hopefully your support on this issue. Thank you. Margaret. Senator O'Keefe, you have five minutes as leader. Yeah. 
Uh, and you're very welcome, MEP Kelly, and indeed for, uh, credit is due for the enormous amount of work uh, that you're doing uh, in Europe. And indeed, as Senator Cummins has rightly said, the work that you did uh, in your previous role as President of the GEA. I'm just really wondering, as I sit here, which, which uh, uh, country in the EU uh, comes closest to uh, Kilkenny or, or, or Kerry, perhaps, in their, in their uh, race to be supreme at, at those various sports. Um, I suppose, for me, one of the biggest uh, dilemmas, really, is how uh, and you've touched on it yourself, is how we connect or how we reach out to Europe and how Europe reaches out to us. And you've referred to the disconnect, and people always do. Uh, and I feel that we haven't, to me, really made the, the amount of progress that I would have considered we should have